Thank you, Carla. First of all, I'd like to thank the service providers for coming here today and the representatives. Minister, what does the Section 39 workers mean to me in Limerick? Minister Kieran O'Donnell's father was the founder member of St. Joseph's Foundation in Charleville. We are very fortunate to have St. Joseph's Foundation in Grana, where I'm from, Grana County Limerick. And uh, they've been there for a good number of many years now. And now they have the Question Therapy Centre there as well. And on the 1st of October, singer-songwriter Brian Kennedy is coming there, like he comes every year to St. Joseph's. And he will be performing there on the Liam O'Connor show on the 1st of October. And one of his songs that he sings every time he comes there is Life, Love and Happiness. These people and all the Section 9, 39 workers around this country give life, give love and give happiness to everyone that uses their service. I would hope that this government can see how important they are to us. We have in Able Ireland, we have the Wheelchair Association. I have Ratfrieda Cheshire Home, all in County Limerick, that provide massive services to people. And all they are looking for is pay parity. They are 9.5% paid less than their co workers from the HSE doing the same job as they are doing. They are paid 9.5% less for, the, for their work. And they are working alongside the HSE workers. In 2010, the workers um, took a pay cut because there was a financial crisis. And the Section 38 and 39 workers took the pay cut. But the Section 38 workers had reversed after some amount of time, but you left the Section 39 workers behind. These are the same people that I would be involved in all year round doing fundraisers, where we, we, we do fundraising all around the country. And the welcome we get when we go to every one of their centres, it's uplifting. The happiness that comes and meets you at the door because of what these people do. They not only work, they go above and beyond and they create a family structure, family environment, which they don't get any recognition for. Other members here tonight have in your own government and opposition all agree that they should get their pay party. And for people that, that think that they, they are, want to strike for more money, they don't want to strike for more money. They want to, to make sure that they get the same payment as the people that are working alongside them within the HSE. Because it's the same as the nursing homes, the private nursing homes, that are around the country, the smaller nursing homes, that have been up here as well. What have the HSE been guilty of They've allowed all these agencies bring in people and train them up for six months. And after six months, the HSE comes in and poaches them and gives them the Section 38 wage. That's why they don't want to bring the Section 39 workers up to the pay grade, because they'll have no place to get people to work, because there is no place like working where they work. Because it's a family. Now, the closure of these facilities, if something isn't done by Tuesday, will mean that uh, the day service for adults with intellectual disabilities will close. The close of most of the residential sites for adults and children with intellectual abilities will close. Huge reductions in services provided by the disability team to children with intellectual disabilities. This will increase the waiting list and additional stress on families. 
And on top of this, Minister, it will enable students that are training in the care that they get with these workers, it will stop them from the ability for them to graduate because they won't be able to get placements. None of those people or the people around the country want to strike. This didn't happen yesterday. It, is, it didn't happen 12 months ago. This has happened since 2010 that they're looking for pay parity. Recognition for the same work that they do and they even go above and beyond. Minister, you were here the other night when Cleona Foundation came here and the work that they do. I hold all these people on the same level as everyone that you heard in that room. And there was tears in your eyes when, when they spoke here the other night about Cleona, her parents. There wasn't a dry eye in that room. And I have to thank the Kelton Caller for organising such an event. And, and for here. The same thing is happening here. We cannot allow these people go out on strike on Tuesday. It won't be their fault. It will be government's fault if it happens. So I'm asking you, with a heavy heart, get this sorted before Tuesday. Give these people the recognition that they deserve because the work that they do, they go above and beyond what any workers would do. And I thank them from the bottom of my heart for what they do. So please, Minister, get this sorted before Tuesday and give these people the pay parity that they so richly deserve. Thank you. Thank you, Deputy.